Hey y'all, it's the Southern Woods here and welcome to another ranking video. As always with me, my brother Anthony and my good friend Declan. Yes, sir. Today, as promised, we are going to be doing salsa. We're going to be ranking salsa brands and oh boy is there a lot of them as we found out we have a little over 20 different salsa brands here for you to try out and that may seem a little excessive may seem a little extreme but here at the southern woods we want to give you the best review the best ranking to know what's out there to go get um we try to make a even playing ground for all these salsas we try to get red salsa and anything that was medium or mild, original. There will be a couple outliers, but everything should be, you know, the basics. So, without further ado, we're gonna see which salsa brand's the best. We did buy the, the Santitas chips to see if they were better than Great Value. We determined they weren't, so we're going with Great Value. All right, someone randomly pulled me the first salsa. All right. Newman's own. We got that Newman's own, wow. <laughs> we got that Newman's own mild salsa. Now, as we all know, the smiling face is usually for salad dressings. That's where I know it from. Or marinara sauce. Big condiment guy. And 100% uh, profits go charity. It's a good company to support and go buy for, but I have never had their salsa. Have you? Never. Have you? Nope. They really made salsa, to be honest. So, all right, Anthony, I'm the, I'm the Anthony crack it open, Anthony. Ooh, that's a crisp crack. All right, so for cans big enough to where we can stick a chip in here, that's how we're gonna do things. Anything slender, we'll pour in the bowl and wash it out between uh, takes. Mmm. Kind of sweet. It tastes like a fucking garden in a jar. <laughs> it is very sweet. It is. Definitely sweet. I mean, there's some savoriness in there. But it tastes like a lot more homemade. Yes, like, as I said, back when we used to have a garden and actually grow vegetables and crap, a long time ago, mm. this is kind of what it tastes like if, you know, it, it tastes authentic. I like it. I like it too. I'm gonna give it another bite. I think um, this is the first one, so either way, Newman's um, will be in first place to start out. I'm gonna give it a six and a half to start out. I feel like that's a reasonable, solid starting score. I'm gonna go with a five and a half. Five and a half? What about you, Anthony? I'll go with six. So, so six, that, six, six, yep. Yeah. So, Newman Zone sits right now at first place with a solid six. Let's move on to competitor number two. All right, this one is Clint Texas Salsa. Got the medium version. I have never had Clint's before. Have never you all? even heard of Clint's before. What about you, Anthony? Nope. All right. So this will be a new one for all of us. I, as I said, I've never even heard of Clint's Texas also before, but let's hope it's good. All right. They are true to the word. It is from Texas, San Antonio. Oh. All right. Oh no. <laughs> it's, a, it's a lot spicier. I'll give you that. Mm. It says low sodium, more like low grade. <laughs> <laughs> it's got some heat to it for being a medium salsa. I don't really like it that much. I. I give them a five and a half mm -hmm. to like start it out. Yep. That's not good, but it's not bad by any means. It's so I'm gonna give it a four and a half. I was gonna give it a four. It's false advertisement for people like Ben. It's like it says medium, but it's kind of spicy. It's, it's really it spicy is, for me. Yeah, it is. So, medium. but it's not like ridiculous. Stuff. It's not I mean, ridiculous. I don't like spicy stuff, and that's okay. But for something labeled medium, yeah, it's it's a spice. Spice. Yeah. yeah. Uh, what do you give it, Anthony? Five point. So four, four and a half, five and a half. So about a, a 
Five. 4.7. Yeah, a little mm -hmm. under a five, a little under a yeah. five. So, Clint's Texas salsa is sitting in second under a five. Next one? Yep, next one. Let's pull it out. Herdez Garden Salsa. Yep, we got that Herdez now. Very well known brand, I feel like. I've had it multiple times. I feel like this is your mid grade salsa. It's like you get a bang for your buck with the, the big bottle. So, anything else y'all have to say about it? I've never tried it before. Oh, oh, honestly, okay. there's a majority of that I haven't tried, so. We'll probably pour this one in the bowl. No, you're about to try like a minute. All this tastes like is cut up tomatoes. Nothing else. Everything is right. Yeah. And I don't like tomatoes. It tastes like alternate, like, ketchup. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> like, if you went to a terrible, poor, poverty universe, this is the ketchup. <laughs> um. It's bland. It's bland. It is. It's bland. It's just tomato. And weirdly enough, I think I like Texas Clint's better. Mm -hmm. I agree. Yeah. And at least have more flavor. Mm-hmm. And I give that for. I mean, yeah, I don't like tomatoes, so I mean, don't know what I'm trying to suggest. But yeah. I'm gonna give this one, I guess, a three and a half. Then. Yeah. Really low score, but I mean, it is what it is. Three. Three. Yeah, two. Three and a half. So a little under a three. So her does. Right now, is in third. Trash. So, so far that's our top three. Next up, we have on the border salsa. We determined that on the border chips were your mid-grade tortilla chip. I've had on the border. It's. I, I think from what I remember, I like it a good bit. All right. So on the border, mid-grade chips are their salsas better. <clears throat> oh no. <laughs> Okay. I'm getting the first, the first one vibes. Mm-hmm. Was it unique? Yep. I, I'm, I'm, I'm feeling this one more. I like this one. Yep. On the border, uh, has like some good flavor. Uh, it's not too overpowering in any aspect. It's well-rounded. I, I have to say this is pretty mid-grade too. Like this is. It's definitely better than the Herdez and the Clint's Texas, mm -hmm. in my opinion. Let's see, I gave the Newman, what, six and a half? Yeah. Okay. So I, I'm going to give uh, On the Border a six then, just like their chips. I give it a six. Yeah, what about you, Anthony? We're going to make the devil's number? Seven. So, <coughs> yeah, so it is first then. <coughs> yes. All right, On the Border, for now, is in the top spot, first place. Sure. Overtake it Newman's own, which slides in second. All right, to the next one. On to the next one. Number five out of 22, I believe. Mateo's. Mateo's Gourmet Salsa. Now, this one we got multiple times, and I really like Mateo's from what I remember. I think it's a good quality brand. All right, well, we're going to crack open Mateo's. Oh, I took your job right then. Yeah, you take three of my job. <laughs> I call the next one. <laughs> All right. Hmm. <laughs> Just the audible. Yeah. It's good. Oh, that shit's good. It has a nice, strong flavor. Whoa. Garlic, vinegar. The after flavors. A lot stronger. Mm hmm. In a good way or bad way for you? Not as good on the border, but a lot better than the Cardiz and the Clint's, I all right. It has a lot. I feel like it feels like a lot of the same ingredients as on the border because the flavor is like not identical, but the flavor is close. Yeah, that just has a stronger flavor. This is definitely stronger for me in a good way. I like it a good bit better than on the border, which I gave a six and a half. I'm gonna give Mateo's. I'm gonna give it an eight and a half. I'm, I'm jumping it up I with this one. Good old scoop. I'm gonna give that a five. All right, so. I gave it an eight and a half. Did I can give it a five? Yeah. Okay, what about you, Anthony? I'm really on the border about this. <laughs> <laughs> Good one. I'm most of the water. 
I'll give it a seven and a half. Yeah, just barely. So it's above a seven. Yeah, so, so oh, just above. So it take me first place. Yeah. Maybe. Either way, Mateo's gourmet salsa is now in first, just above a seven, which overtakes on the border. Perdez continues to slide in last. Uh, my man Newman's own is in the third place spot. And yep, Mateo's got that gold right now. Moving on. Yep. Next up, we got Tostitos. If you remember, Tostitos got second place in the tortilla chip. Um, so I wonder how well they'll do with the salsa. Tostitos, pretty good, well-rounded salsa, just like all their other dippable things, so. That's so satisfying. Very satisfying. This reminds me a lot more of the Newman Zone. Like, this has a really similar taste, in my opinion. Mm. Just that very garden-like taste. Um, I like it slightly better than Newman's Own, though, I think. Ah, uh, but I don't know. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go in the I'm gonna give it a six. I'm gonna take the conservative route right now. Pretty good, around what Newman's Own was. I agree with you. Mm -hmm. I think it's better than Newman's Own. Okay. Um, I give Newman's a five, it's gonna be a six. Okay, so six, six. Pretty mid. So, what are you gonna give it? I'll give it a six. All right. No, wait, 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 wait. A 6.1. 6.1. Six point one. All right, so we're rounded out to about a six. So above Newman's Own. Above Newman's Above. Above. My man Newman's Own got knocked out of bronze pretty quickly. Tostitos is sitting at third right now. So, so far, we've already determined that they're better at making tortilla chips and salsa. Sir. All right. Let's hit up number seven. Ooh. Great value. Great value. So, Great Value chips were deemed the best tortilla chip, so there's no reason why Great Value salsa will not be the best salsa. So, they proved us wrong last video. They're looking to prove us wrong again. Oh! Uh. Right. I'm excited. You're excited? So much. I mean, I am too, because just because how much Great Value impressed me last time. Pasta sauce. <laughs> we did get salsa. Oh, I thought it was pasta sauce. This does kind of taste like marinara Straight sauce. Up on the spaghetti. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I don't dislike it, but it's just everything from the consistency to the taste is like marinara, bro. Pragu. I, t I taste salsa. That's all it is, really. Crushed tomatoes. <laughs> <laughs> Diced tomatoes. I don't dislike it, to be honest. Um, I'm gonna give it a five and a half, so just under what I gave uh, Newman's own. So, it's pretty mid. I'm gonna give it a five and a half, which is just above what I gave Newman's own. Okay. Five. Five, so just under a five and a half, which puts it between. Right between under. Clint's and. Newman's own. All right, so after that, um, Great Value, not as good as their chips uh, compared to the competitors. It's currently in fifth. Mateo's is in first still, followed by On the Border and Tostitos. Let's get number eight going, shall we? Oh, shit. Oh! Next up, we got... Oh! Alright, so next up, the eighth competitor, we got all natural frog ranch salsa. Really? No, nothing says all natural like a humanoid frog in a fucking purple tree. Mm. Doesn't that just sound frog ranch? Mm. <laughs> uh, I've never had frog ranch. This is, I think, the second one that I've never had, so. Uh, I kind of want to see where this is from. Alright, where, where are they located? Ohio. Ohio, them butt guys. Hop on over to our pad for recipes, t-shirts, and more. No, ranch.com. No, nothing says Mexican cuisine like Ohio. Nothing at all. Mm -hmm. But uh, we're not going to discriminate here. We're going to dive right in. It could be the best. Vine, ripened tomatoes, Ooh. pickled peppers, fresh onions, and parsley. This sounds kind of good. You want to open it? <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's, that's my place. That was oh, really sad. That was, that was a sad pop. Um, yes, it 
typical. Yeah. We're gonna try that frog ranch. Maybe go rid of it. That was awesome. <laughs> oh. I mean, I mean, it's different. It, it, the initial taste is very sweet to me. Was it for you, Anthony? And then it the just noise, water. Yeah. Okay. So when I first bit it, it was super sweet like candy, and then like two seconds later, it dissipated to nothingness. I'm gonna try again though, because maybe that was a bad. That thing. is very bland. God. Mm. Hey, there's not much flavor there at all. Yeah, like after the first split second of taste, there's nothing. Honestly? Did they even put salt in this guy? I hate to say it, this is the worst so far. I agree. Me. Two. Yeah, I, I was gonna give it a two. I agree. That's fine. It's just because there's nothing there after the initial split second of flavor. Actually, I'll go with a three. three. Ju just for the fact that I still eat it. Yeah, I mean, I still eat it. I fuck, I'd probably eat any of these. <laughs> yeah. Unless I'm going, oh, oh. And for a medium salsa, this, what's, what's lighter than medium? Mild? British? Oh, wow. <laughs> what did we learn? People in Ohio cannot make salsa. Well, that's what we learned. <laughs> Any American made salsa seems actually honestly probably. Maybe Frog right. Ranch should stick to ranch or frogs. I don't yeah. know. <laughs> Maybe not salsa. So, right now, it's in last place. Sorry, Frog Ranch. You're up here, though. Number All right, three. number uh, nine Chi Chi. I have never yeah. tried this either. So we have never had Chi Chi's, all of us, just like Frog Ranch. This is thick. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Y'all should make Oh, whoa, 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 that's chunks. Okay. Got a terrible dipping chip. Well, date now, dipping. That's really good, in my opinion. That's got a lot of flavor. Just a, a medium hint of heat. Mmm. Mmm. Salt is not expensive. So just put it into your salt, so. <laughs> Like, if you put salt in yours, maybe it could be like Chi Chi's, man. This is good to me. What about you, Declan? What are you feeling? It is indeed good. However, though, I feel like it still has less flavor than these top two. Yeah. I may have to agree. I like it better than On the Border, which I gave a six and a half. Oh, really? But I like it worse than Mateo's, which I gave eight and a half. So I'll give it a mil seven and a half for Chi Chi's for me. I'm going... What did I give on the border? I think on the border like twenty good. Six. Eight. Eight. Oh, I think, maybe I, think I did. Um, I'll go with the six and a half. Six and a half. So right now we're at a seven. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> eh, five and a half. Why not? Right, so five and a half, seven and a half, six and a half. So six and a half, right? You gave six and a half. I did. Okay. So Chi Chi's is a six and a half. So that puts it above Newman's. Uh, Chi Chi's slides to the runner-up spot in fourth. Newman's own continues to drop a little bit down to fifth. We're at the Desi spot, number ten. What we got? <coughs> we got mission, mission salsa. I'm on a mission to try this. Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> what was that? I was gonna touch it some more, and I was already feeling it up. <laughs> Open it when I'm laughing. <laughs> <laughs> is on the border was a mid grade tortilla chip, and they're sitting in second. Mission is a mid grade tortilla chip. Where's it gonna sit? I don't know if I've had Mission before. Mm. I'm getting some slightly better frog ranch vibes. <laughs> no. <laughs> Let me know if y'all are getting the same. A lot more flavor. Yeah, a lot more flavor, but just still not as much flavor as I want there to be. I like it. I think I'm very bland. Yeah. Fuck. Fuck. <sighs> the initial last one in the frog ranch. What did we give Clint's? All together? We gave him three. Clint's way better. Mm -hmm. crap. No. I I was gonna. Mm -hmm. I'm. That's a six. I was say I'm gonna give it a. Uh, a three. <laughs> I think that one's gonna be outnumbered on this one. What are you giving me? Three. 
So that, I mean, solidly four. Four. Mission is now in the third worst spot. Clint slides up to the fourth worst. All right, so time for number 11, which I believe is the halfway point. Yeah, so Kroger, medium, traditional salsa. Also known as Albertsons to those out west. Or uh, King Supers in the Midwest. Oh. Yeah. So Kroger, King Supers, Albertsons. Kroger goes by like 10 different names throughout the country. I learned it in Kroger training school when I did that. Yes, sir. Um, so I don't believe I've had Kroger brand salsa. We're going to try it out. Have you had Kroger brand? No. Okay. No? I know you haven't. Huh? That's a decent, that was a decent pop. It smells amazing. <laughs> only, one, only one we smell. Yeah. Wow. Oh, oh my okay. god. I, I know this is What is wrong with you? I didn't know it was going to come Oh up. my god, dude. It's going to taste like marinara sauce. <laughs> looks just like it. Take one of those. Mm. 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 Definitely does not taste like marinara sauce. There's some kick in there. there there's some flavor in there, too. Um, but I'm just, I'm having a hard time gauging it for some reason. There's nothing special about it. Maybe that's why. <laughs> Ohio? Maybe that's why. Front ranch. I'll be honest, um, I gave Walmart the other store brand, a five and a half. I'm gonna give Kroger a five. To me, this is the ultimate mid. Yeah, I agree actually. Yeah, so, that's actually, yeah, I'm gonna five. All right, so we are all in concurrence that Kroger is right behind Walmart, sitting at a five. Kroger, I mean, slid right in the middle. Yeah, this, this shit's mid grade right now. All right, so next up, number 12, we got and El Pinto. Pinto. Wow. Woo! El Pinto! Ironically, the two people on the lid are white male. Oh. Anthony, it's a black and white. You can't you can't totally tell. Yeah. They'll look Italian, actually. Here. Maybe they'll tell us. No, 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 no. They're from Albuquerque, New Mexico. They're called the Salsa Twins. What's the last name? The Salsa Twins. <laughs> <laughs> uh, they're John, John and Jim Tom. Tom they're definitely white, okay. All right, so the Salsa Brothers, a couple white guys from New Mexico, made the Hitch Valley Chili world famous El Pinto Medium Salsa. Big words! I wanna, I wanna, I wanna, Never heard of it. I want, <laughs> I, I want, I want to open it. Sure yeah, for all seriousness, for being world famous, even the Salsa reviewer don't know you. But we'll see if you impress. Oh, it's vegan friendly. Ah, uh, it's probably trash. <laughs> Non-GMO. This really shouldn't have GMO in it in the first place. Yeah. So that's called greenwashing. Greenwashing. Bath I'm in trouble there, Nick. Ooh, that's, that's an okay one. I had to. Right. I had to flex a little bit. Don't need to show off my you muscles. Think we speak no. No. <laughs> oh, no. Are you serious? Is there something worse than frog rain? Dog water. Yeah. No, straight up dog water. Don't trust, what are you, Tom? Never trust a couple of the most average looking white guys to make you good salsa. Yawn and jam. The only thing this shit has for it is heat. But you know what? I mean, if you like spicy and no flavor, but just spicy, this will be your that thing. That kicks like afterwards. I, I can't imagine how much their like triple hot would be. Mm. But just from what I'm tasting, yeah, if you put the cap back on, I give it a one. This is atrocious. That's, yeah, that's, <laughs> this is the only one I would not eat. It's going to the graveyard. I'm actually giving it a point five. Yeah, so just under a one altogether. Zero point one. Yeah. Okay, so like a point five. <laughs> this is about the worst you could do, salsa twins or whatever the fuck. I'm so I'm sorry to all, everyone who really loves this, but for all of us to concede concede, wow, well, to uh, determine it's under a one. Your ass. It's, okay, so honestly, I, I could eat that. Like, I could eat any of these. But that one is just spicy for no reason. Like, you can't call that a medium salsa. Spicy water. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> spicy spicy water. water. Like, as 
this is the only one that we would, and we love food, and we will yeah. not eat this. So, moving on to number uh, 13, I believe. Ace. Ace. Mm. The Pase. Right? I think it's a Pase, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the one you said you, you eat a lot, right? Yeah. So, this is Declan's go to. I've had it before. I like it. Um, for now, you think you want to crack it open? It kind of looks like a good pop to it. <laughs> That's okay. That's okay. Uh, I guess. That's okay. It's okay. It's alright. Oh, heavy, very heavy tomato though. It reminds me of the Herdez. Yeah, I have to agree. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give the pasta a four and a half. I mean, there's just nothing wild in me. I'd eat it, but it's just like this is definitely right around that mid grade. I'll give it a four. Four, four and a half. Mm. Yeah, four. All right, so just above the four. All right, so out of the gate, Posse jumps to, I think, the seventh spot. Uh, knocking down Clint's again to fourth worst. And uh, for a while now, no one's been able to touch the top three. Mm -hmm. uh, Chi Chi's got the closest, getting the runner up, but since then, no one has come close. All right, what we got now? Ooh, Ooh looks fancy. We got authentic desert pepper. Uh, this one has corn and black beans in it, just because this is the only one we could find. But it should, you know, that's why I said there's a couple of them outliers. Um, I think this is their normal though. It's medium. It is medium. That that is one of the consistent things. I've had the the desert pepper before. I think I've done a review on their verde salsa, and it was one of the better ones I've ever had, review wise. Woo. So I am looking forward to this. I think. Um, I mean, I hope it's better than fucking Kroger. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was a good pop. That was a really good pop. Mmm. That's good. <laughs> okay, no. No. That one's not a very uh, good corn bean type of person. Um, I really like it. I don't like it better than Mateo's. I'll give it a, an 8. Oh, that's a heat in her way. I think it's an eight. I really like this one. What do you think, Declan? Or I'm mean, Anthony Declan? Mm -mm. I don't like it. Okay. I'm giving it Solid. a three. Solid seven. All right. So after trying the pepper desert, there are a few things we have to say. Me and Anthony really liked it. Declan really did not like it. Um, but I mean, it is one of the ones that isn't just like salsa salsa, there's corn and black beans in there. So for all good and holy purposes, we put it outside the top five, but above the what we consider the most mid. So it's in at six, deservedly. Number Frontera. 15. Frontera. Frontera, number 15. I've never had this. I don't think I've really ever seen never this. Heard of this is gonna be either really good Really good. Like for Not good at all. But uh <laughs> tastes like if you got rotten tomatoes and then made sauce. Right. Yeah. Uh two and a half for me. Uh, I don't even want to I think I'm giving you the two. Clear cut where I have it. I have it above Frog Ranch, but between her does and mine. There's a reason why it's so hard to even miss. They don't want you to get inside. They don't want you to get inside. What do you get it, Anthony? Solid one. Okay. Do you like it better than Frog Ranch? That's the big question. Do y'all? I do. No, I, I do not. I like Frog Ranch better. All right. Chicago can be good so Okay. So it's been determined that um, the for Des or whatever. It's a uh, second to last. I mean, at least you beat you, you beat the salsa twins, the salsa sure. brothers. <laughs> so, whew. moving on to number sixteen, I believe. All right, we got Jardine's small batch made hatch green chili. Yeah. So we got Jardine's hatch green chili salsa from Boda, Texas. Yes, yes sir. sir. Um, hatch green chilies are a lot of people's uh, go-to ingredient to make things really nice. So Ooh, that was, that was a, a nice very pop. clean pop. We're gonna try it. We're gonna. We're just gonna dive right into this guy. I see. 
Um, it has a kick. It's like Texas. Yeah, yeah, it's very similar to the other Texas Clint one. It really is. To be honest. A little better. Though. So I think the question is, do we like it better than Texas Clint? I do. I do too. Uh, is it better than Posse? I don't think so. No. Okay. Well, that was fucking simple. All right. Because uh, <laughs> it's my brother's salsa. Is it Anthony or is it Declan? Which brother? Which one made it? Which one made it? Ooh. All right. Now, where are our brothers from? LLC, PO Box 922, Bentonville, Arizona. That's it. That's okay, good that's a that's good really sign. Now, last time we had a women-owned brand, it was indeed Milo Sweet Tea, which got last place. Let's hope the women <laughs> can redeem them. Oh, wow. You're really, really, really good. You're really bad at that. Oh! oh, 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 oh. You really is all, all I'm mouth. saying is, let's hope they can redeem themselves. Oh yeah, that's good. That has a basil, like a tomato, like a pasta sauce type of smell too. It's very red. I like the vibrancy. It is very red. It gives me good vibes. Okay, well, why is it called My Brother if only women make it? Because uh, they brother have a brother, brother probably. Mm. Probably right. There's no story on it. Mm. Is that the recipe for it? Sketchy. Not good. No, not right. trying to be mean. It feels like these. Man, I'm gonna look like a fucking. It's, a, it's actually better than this one. Yeah. And well, actually, it's better than the dog. Yeah. I mean, unlike these three, I would actually eat it. Yes. If I had it. This has been the worst one that I will just go and eat if mm -hmm. I want. So. All right. Soon. The brothers and stuff are just gonna have to fade in the darkness a little yes, bit. So. Uh, we, we have one, two, three, four, five more salsas to go. Let's get it. Private select. Yes, sir. This is Kroger's uh, bougie. fancy, their bougie uh, brand, private selection, and this is their salsa. I've never had private selection salsa. I have had other bright selections. Oh, this is pretty good. Ohio. Oh, yeah. Ooh. All right. Jacqueline is taking the initiative. For the first time in my life. <laughs> Oof. There's something different about it. it tastes like pepperoni from Drew and Mike. I like it. I like it. It has a little bit of a kick to it. There's some good flavor. Um, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna give it a, uh, a six and a half. I think, I think that's fair. I'm gonna give it a four. Okay. Uh, Ryan just above a five right now. Seven. Okay, so about a six. Um, is it better than Newman's own? Yeah, that's about a six. I can you know. I don't think so either. I think so, but you need to behind it. All right, so private selection. Actually, I mean, it slid, very close to the top slid five, into the sixth spot, so close to the top five. It's been the biggest threat in a minute, but still, the top five are untouched. Now, we're moving on to Taco, Ooh, Bell. Taco Bell. Very well known uh, international fast food chain. Uh, makes good sauces and decent tacos and whatnot. How about their salsa? I think it'd be good. I've had those. I think I've had their salsa on maybe they're not before. But uh, we'll try it. Do you have chips? Oh yeah, I do. No, no face you get in me either. No. I like it. Very soupy and pasty. There's nothing that screams at me. Um, tacos are better. I'm giving it eight. I'm giving it a five. I think it was pretty mid-grade. It's like, there's nothing bad about it. It's good. It's I think just, I had higher expectations I think for my it. My taste buds compared to y'all for salsa is just it's really different. Good. Yeah, which is good though. Yeah, I get more diverse opinion on it. Mm. Oh, it's 
So it's so about a seven. Six, five, and you said eight. eight. So about a seven. Uh, probably a little less than a seven. A little probably less than seven. Point eight. Still, seven. that slides it all the way up past Newman's. All right, coming down to the wire in Taco Bell, the big business made some splashes, jumping into the runner up, sending Chi Chi's to fifth place, and knocking Newman's own out of the top five. What do we have next, Declan? We are down to the final three, I believe. I can't roll my R's, but Ariba! White Ariba, <laughs> fire roasted Mexican chipotle medium salsa. Again, this one's a little bit of an outlier, a little bit more to it than just normal salsa. But we're gonna crack it open and try it out. <laughs> Army strong. Basically, oh, so yeah. this is the green map. Wow, 
The green and white. Hey, right there, the green mountain, white boy size. <laughs> the green mountain, green, yeah. It's awesome. So, you know, I have a feeling this is going to be pretty good. Let's see if, let's see. All right, so we already determined classic white male twin brothers cannot make good salsa. Can Green Mountain Hillbillies make good salsa? I don't know. Hillbillies had to make some fire food, so. Salem. That's not the Salem. That's in Massachusetts. Nope. No witch trials That's here. a pretty good pop. Oh, oh, good you can actually open it. <laughs> That's facts. Oh, it looks very lippity. Oh, it's nice. actually not that oh, that looks good. I'm getting some Newman vibes. Mm -hmm. Got that very garden taste. Mm -hmm. Good though? That's a good sign, yeah. Good fresh. I like it. Mmm. It's kind of a second flavor though. Yeah, like, there's, there's an aftertaste to it that's, I mean, it's pleasant. I like it better than Walmart. Mmm, yeah. It's definitely above 5.5. Um, I may have to give the Green Mountain Gringo a six and a half. Yeah, that's about it. Which for me is above Newman's, so I give Newman's a six. Mm. Honestly, I feel like it tastes better the more you eat it. Yeah, like, I, to me, here, here's when I'm envisioning what I'm eating this. I feel like this is, it, there's always your front porch everything. To me, mm -hmm. this is my front porch salsa. While I'm just eating, watching the, the fields of grain and or the mountain Watch stream. The edge, play in the <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, so what are y'all thinking? I give it a six and a half. What'd you give? I give it a six. Six? Okay, so you're about on par with uh, Newman. Six point five? Okay. So do you like it better than Newman's anything? Okay, but not as much as two T's? Okay, I'm right there with you. I think that's a decent consensus. All right, so uh, the Green Mountain Gringo uh, was fairly surprising. It's now in sixth place, right outside the top five, um, sending Newman's own to seven. We got one more in the biggest ranking since the Slim Jim Meat Stick video. Final competitor, Late July Snacks. Late July Snacks, organic salsa, from Charlotte, North Carolina. Okay, so our final one, late July snacks. That's a really good color to it. Oh, it looks kind of spicy though. I don't know. Chili vegan. Right and it's kosher. It's vegan kosher. Oh, so shit. we're saving probably the healthiest. And yeah. Cleanest for last. If you can serve vegan healthy. Mmm. I'm getting some frog tree vibes. Or really? Like frog lake. What is it? I, I'm getting the opposite. I'm getting some good vibes. It's a little better. A little bit more seasoned. Where's that frog man? There he is. This has a, more, a lot more of a salsa flavor than that does. Yeah. Actually, yeah. I like this one. I like this a good bit too. I'm gonna have to. Chip. Like, I, this can be a seven, honestly. Chip. I'm gonna give it a six. Six. Seven and a half. Okay, so about six and a half then. I actually really enjoy this one. Not a bad one to off with. Mm-hmm. Now, you know what else just got six and a half? Mm. The Gringo Mountain Boy. Mm. Do you like it better than that? Mm-hmm. Do you? I can't say I do. Actually, I think you're right. I think I do like the late July snacks better than the Green Mountain Gringo. What about you, Anthony? Mm. Okay. Wow, y'all, 22 different mother freaking salsas. This is my dad's dream right here. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. So what did we determine? El Pinto Salsa Twin Brothers, not even worth the table. <laughs> He's the only one that couldn't fit on the table because they're in last place. So really, Kroger got a five. So really, you're kind of not so good salsas. All right, let's, your really bad sauces are below her nest. Yes. The, these are ones that I would not get, I would not eat on my own. 
Yeah. So just moving up, these are like your below average, your, uh, your Posse, your Texas Clint, Mission, Arriba. Mm -hmm. um, these are really your mid-grade, the, the store brand ones. Yep. Great value, Kroger. And then you're moving up to above average with the Desert Valley, Private Selection, Newman's. He gave a good fight and you're just getting better. But here are the top five. Chi-Chi's, Taco Bell in fourth, Tostitos in third, On the Border in second, and get, get it, Declan, Mateo's in first. Now, do note that Declan didn't like this one as much, but me, Duck, me and Anthony really liked it. But Mateo's is your salsa champion. It's the one you should go out to get, along with On the Border and Tostitos. Those are right behind. Chi Chi's and Taco Bell, also good, but all these salsas, for the most part, really good. There's only a handful that we just really, really didn't, yes. really didn't like. Um, but yeah, that was exciting. I'm gonna have to do a lot of editing. You know, it's kind of whack because like before, I didn't really think you tried. Salsa. Yeah, because I mean, you said nope, nope, no, I ain't yep, tried. Yep. And I eat salsa a lot, many different ones, and there was at least a handful I had never tried. Um, is there anyone that surprised you? That surprised you? Bad me? or good? Honestly, the one that we need on the table, that surprised me how bad it was. Yes, that, because they that was so salsa, it wasn't salsa. The pinto ones? Um, the ones that kind of disappointed me, I thought Mission was disappointing. I thought it'd be better. Same with Passe. That's I, true. Um, I really thought the Clint one looked cool. I thought it'd be better. Mm -hmm. um, but up here, overall, I mean, Chi Chi's and Taco Bell, I didn't think would be fourth and fifth. Yeah, no, I like, guess that's true. One thing that really is actually kind of facts is the fact that the four brand ones are in the middle. Yes, like for salsa, it's accurate that your yeah. store brand it's salsas are your generic salsa. Your generic salsa, yeah. yeah. And so like they're cheaper than everything else, and you're still gonna get something good out of it. Uh huh. And they're they're truly the divider of what's not mm -hmm. so good and what is. So, uh, that was exciting. I enjoyed it. Anthony's about half dead. That was a lot of salsa, a lot of salsa to distribute and take home. Hope y'all enjoyed it. Very exciting. We had a lot of fun, a lot of laughter in this. Um, but anyways, go get you Mateo's and the other top ones. Oh shit. Oh shit. Southern Woods out. Southern Woods out.